Hello, my name is Dr. Miller, and here I'm talking about how to complete a bladder scan with the Butterfly IQ ultrasound. So there's this exciting new feature that allows you to have an automated bladder volume estimation, uh, which is important because it allows you to be able to diagnose acute urinary retention. We're gonna talk a little bit about why that's important and how this new feature works. All right, so the first important thing to understand is how acute urinary retention works and uh, what it is exactly. So it's a common condition that affects up to 30% of men over the age of 80. And if it is untreated, it can cause severe renal damage, urosepsis, and significant pain. So it's really important that this is diagnosed and treated promptly. Point of care ultrasound is the quickest and most convenient way to accurately diagnose this condition. So there are some common causes of acute urinary retention out there. Uh, first and foremost is outflow obstruction, which can be caused by a number of things, including BPH, constipation, prostate cancer, urethral stricture, kidney stones, and phimosis. There's also neurological impairments, uh, including trauma, infarct, demyelination, epidural abscess, or metastases, Guillain-Barre, uh, and diabetic neuropathy. Anything that impairs the contractility of the bladder can also be an issue, including fluid overload and general or epidural analgesia. Uh, there's a certain class of medications that are known to cause this, including anticholinergic medications and opioids. And infections, including urethritis and prostatitis, can cause so much swelling that they can actually cause this too. So how do we diagnose it with point-of-care ultrasound? So the, the number you're kind of looking for is any bladder volume greater than 300 cc's in a patient that cannot void is likely due to uh, acute urinary retention and probably warrants decompression. It's probably going to start damaging the kidneys and making the patient very uncomfortable. If you have a bladder volume less than 200 cc's, they probably do not have acute urinary retention. If they're somewhere in the 200 to 300 cc range, uh, it's more of an equivocal result and you're going to have to use your clinical judgment. Uh, if they are having abdominal pain and inability to void, pretty much any measurements, you, know, you should consider placing a catheter in order to help them. All right, so these diagrams show some of the relevant bladder anatomy that we have here. So obviously this is the bladder and the, the, the pubis or the pubic bone is an important anatomical landmark because that's where you really need to get your, your ultrasound uh, to be positioned. It needs to be on top of this bone so that you can uh, slide it over and, and scan the entire bladder from top to bottom. It needs to kind of be around this bone because that'll block your view if you're not in the proper place. Here's a picture with a real live human. So I have the probe there right above the pubis bone in between the umbilicus and the pubis. And sometimes you actually have to push down uh, with some pretty firm pressure to get around the pubis uh, if you're having a little bit of trouble. So that, that can be a little trick to kind of make sure that you can image the entire bladder. So how do we use this bladder volume estimation tool? So I'll, I'll show you a video of myself using it in a sec, but just to go through the steps first. First, you select the bladder preset. Then you make sure you can see the entire bladder with the ultrasound probe. Uh, and then you're gonna click the tools icon in the bottom right side of the app. You're gonna select the volume tool in the bottom middle of the app. And then you're gonna sweep across the entire bladder from top to bottom while the tool is running. And at the end, the program will actually kind of show you its work. And so you can see if it's actually estimating the proper organ space and uh, re-image, I guess, if it's not doing the proper, or it's not identifying the proper area. So this is what it looks like when the program is running. So you can see that, that blue area right there, that is what the program thinks is the bladder. And this uh, image is correct. And then it'll show you its little estimation there at the bottom. And so it's just important to make sure at the end that, uh, that you're checking the program's work and that it is in fact uh, estimating the correct volume. And remember that magic number is 300 cc's. All right, so this video kind of puts it all together for us. You can see, uh, see me using it. So first I'm selecting the bladder preset, right? And then the tool, the volume icon there at the bottom, and now it's calculating. See that little blue area that's it identifying bladder? Click calculate, it's running through, and I'm scanning the entire uh, bladder while it's doing this. See, so I finished it, I, I went through the entire section of it, 
and now it's showing me it's worked. See a little blue area? So that, that coincides pretty well with the bladder. So I would have to say this is likely a very es uh, accurate estimation. All right, so there it is. That's how to, how to scan the bladder. Thank you for watching.